Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. So this is an expansion for Book It. It's called the Gorilla Expansion. I, this is exactly how it came. It came in a little uh, tuck box for the expansion, and I had a, a, some extra cards that look like they're hardcore cards. I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to go through this one first. As we open it up, you can see that's going to have different uh, wrestlers on it. I'm just going to show you the cards and kind of what you get. These are all going to be wrestler cards with some dirt sheets and special announcements. In, and we're going to go through these and take a look at what you got. And these are all going to be parodies of real people. So here's Inside. Insane Gorilla, Jacob Craven, Jack Love, Cactus Jack, like that one, Patty Pyra, jo Jacob Craven, Whisper, Dan Gan, Double M, and once again, these are going to be hard. Now, here's a Lucha Libre, Napalm Takashi, Diamond Sue, Grim Carver, Mox Ambrosia, Mercy Killing, and it's going to be a, a, a non-hardcore one. Pink Cashmere. Grim Carver. Bud Drinker. Sandman, right? Genocide, which is probably Sabu. Gladiator Lee. And this is going to be a special announcement. Rookie of the Year. Play at the end of the booking phase. Target local wrestler gets plus two until the end of the turn to his boots. We're going to get Valentine. Shash Sashimi Politics. Bad Moon Otagami, Comet, it's a Lucha Libre again, Kimura, and this one's going to be a dirt sheet, play at the end of the booking phase, return target wrestler to owner's roster, the owner may replace them with a wrestler in their hand, Roadhouse Randy, I'm assuming that's uh, Terry Funk with the branding iron, and War Kowalski. Now this adds that another faction in the hardcore a dirt sheet and a special announcement, and you can you can pull something out if you wanted to keep the balance in the game, or you can do what I do and just add these cards in, and you'll be happy to go. I like a lot of these cards. So here's the gorilla expansion you're gonna have, and you're gonna step inside. We're gonna open this up now, and you're gonna have a deck of cards in here. You'll probably just want to throw this inside the main box. We'll take a look at it. These are going to be the rules that come with it. It's very easy. You're going to have um, the production cards. Everybody's going to get two, and you're going to keep those, and then you'll go from there. So we're going to take a look at this stack here. You're going to start with two additional venues. You're going to get Chicago, Illinois, which is Wrigley Field. Wrestler of the Four Boots or more get plus two stars. Or Las Vegas, Nevada. At the end of the show, quality phase. If you show quality is 15 or higher, get additional three. Reputation, if it's 14 or less, you're not getting reputation for this turn. So we'll set these aside. We'll go through all of these. We're going to have some dirt sheets that we'll have here. Let's take a look at them. Awful production. At the beginning of the venue phase, target player discards their current production card and draws a new one from the top of the production deck. Burning Bridges. Choose a venue. Pay the cost of that venue. Remove it from the game. Lousy reputation. as <laughs> Ms. McMahon on the, on the uh, witness stand, I think. When you draw this card, play it immediately. You lose a reputation. Botchamania Candidate. Play at the end of a show quality phase. Play this card on an opponent that has a match with a rating of 1 or less on their show. They lose their reputation for botching the move. Another awful production. Another Botchamania. Next, we're going to have these special announcement cards. We'll put these in. Once again, these can be just shuffled right in if you want. Last minute opening. Play at the sign. Uh, you may sign any wrestler in the marketplace. Do not replace them. Change of plans. Discard your current production card. Draw two new production cards. Choose one, shuffle the other back into the production deck. Breakout match, play two cards on a match containing two jobbers. Replace both jobbers with journeymen. That can be an upgrade, nice. Uh, another last minute opening, another breakout match, another change of plans. Next, we're going to look at the production cards. You're going to draw two of these, which will kind of give you a goal. You'll discard one and keep the other one. And you play it as soon as the goal is met, and you'll get the reward. So deep roster. At the end of the signing, if you have 10 or more wrestlers on a turn, you gain four reputation. Play three dirt sheets in a turn. You gain $20. At the end of the show quality phase, your show contains at least two matches with perfect synergy. You gain five reputation. Your show contains no local wrestlers and at least five matches. At the end of the show quality, you gain five rep. All wrestlers on your show have three stars or less at the end of the show phase. Gain two rep. Your show has four more wrestlers with four boots or higher. 
gain three rep. All non-local wrestlers on your show are female at the end of the show quality. You gain two rep at the end of the game. Play three special announcements in one turn. You gain 20 bucks. Five matches on your show contain one male and one female. Gain seven reputation. Your show is five matches and five or less show quality at the end of the show phase. You gain 25 bucks. You may discard your current promotion and choose a new one. All non-locals are male. Gain two reputation. Sign at least 10 wrestlers during a signing phase. Gain five reps. Something you really don't have to plan for. Have five total special announcements and dirt sheets. Three of one and two of the other. Gain two rep at the end of the turn. Your show contains six dirty men. You gain three rep. At the end of the signing phase, your roster contains 20 or more wrestlers. Gain five rep. So these are something you really have to plan for as you go through. Next, we're going to have the wrestlers. These are going to be the new wrestlers that you're going to get in this set. Uh, Cody Tyson. Lucha Dilio, Lucha Libre, Apollo Contra, Aita Augos, Will Lockdown, who's the man? He's hardcore. Hisako Shinkin, Thunder Kitsune, Kicks Gacho, The Knave, Stones Malone, he says Balls Mahoney, Sam Mustang, Joey Jailbait, ugh, Vile, Chocolate McIntyre, Flash Fury, Dr. T Prodigy, Nagano, Bay Bay, Pterodactyl, Buffy, Terry Squall, Proscrito, Kata Thorn, Murder Doll, Davy Dartford, Virgil Garrett, Ricky Honda, Volter, Dios Pandoso, Jersey Sunshine, Erica King, Red Newcastle, Hugh Hughes, it's a hilarious name, Georgia Jezebel, Mike Ascetic, Oliver M. Grayson, Lucy Fist, Thomas Crowley, Cheek Aneri, La Oscarada, Ted Babylon, Mary Murder, and Bruiser White, and last but not least, Demi Weaver. So overall, what do I think about this expansion? I really like the addition of the production cards. This gives you goals that you can utilize during the game and ways to score additional reputation and kind of gives you something more than just trying to score the most points. You're trying to accomplish something on your roster. It's always nice to have these new cards that you can kind of shuffle in and new venues are also appreciated. And the additional wrestlers give you something different, different combinations, different people to look at, different artwork. It's all very much appreciated. This gives you a little bit new with the production cards, but it gives you a whole lot more variety in the game. I like this quite a bit. Very small box, very inexpensive, but adds a punch to your game. Two thumbs up for me. Highly recommend the Gorilla Expansion. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.